no, I'm going live. Oh no. Oh no. Hi. Hey, not supposed to be live. I'm going to end this stream. Sorry. Oh no. Is it going to mess up my thing? Don't end it. Oh no, I have to. It's going to mess up my link. All my links I have everywhere. Looks like we're going live early. Oh my God. Look what I did. Okay. I thought I was going to go to the dashboard. Let me center this so I get more of me in it. Here, share this over here. Even though I just told everybody seven minutes. Rookies. Oh, look what I did. Now we're early. Now uh, people are going to be here, but whatever. I guess the show must go on. Bunch of rookies over here. I hit the button. Bunch Whoops. of rookies. So, hey, guys. Uh, we're live. <laughs> we're supposed to go live on Instagram first. I hit the button. I kind of like knew it when I was hitting it. You know when like you know you shouldn't do something and then you do it anyways? And then you screw it up. Well, this is what like producers get fired for. Can't start a show seven minutes early, six minutes. Six early. minutes early, crap! But we got to start because we can't just have this all day all fluff. Hey, yeah, you can't end it. Now we're going. Hi, everybody. Hey. So must. Well, I'm glad you're on. here because we're early because I hit the button by accident, and then if I ended <sighs> the stream, I think I would have screwed up all the links that I just shared. So. Here we are. This is what I was telling her today and just on the ride home when we almost got in 14 accidents just trying to get to the gym. No, we uh, didn't. She's such a good driver. It was one. And um, that was because you- got to pay attention. Just got to pay attention. I was paying attention. That's why I stopped. Mm. He made me pull over to a different lane. And when I pulled over, everybody in front of me jacked on their brakes. So then I jacked on my brakes, avoiding said collision. <laughs> avoiding. Wait, this is so high up. All right. So- uh, okay. Oh, sure. Ah, oh, you can see the big shlongadanga. Okay, I guess that's better. Here is our fancy Yeti microphone yeah. so we can feel fancy. I don't want to touch I'm sweating. It. All right, let's get into the beer and wine review. Shall we? First, I want to say, you know, obviously, uh, you guys don't get to see my guns every week. Because, you know, I cover them up because, you know, I don't want to make anybody feel bad. Here. Oh, you're taking yours off too, I'm Jesus. sweating because I screwed up this live show. I started but it's March early. Madness. And yes. Well, no, I am not. I didn't go to Stanford. No. I know nobody that went to Stanford. He has But bills. I have a Stanford jersey. And I think every week for March Madness, I'm just going to wear a different college jersey. I think I got an NC State one randomly and a Michigan one. And I'm going to save the best for last. Coops, baby. Coops. Oh, maybe Give I'll put on. Oh, maybe I'll put on my Providence dance team uniform that my mother gave me upstairs. She told me I would have brought my pom poms down. <sighs> yep. So uh, we'll do that. I'll keep that going. That'll be fun. And I got two years of eligibility left, so maybe I'll maybe I'll jump on the court, get in there. What? Yeah. Oh, there you go, Tatum. There's your <laughs> jumper shot. All right, let's get to this beer and wine reveal. Yeah, we got some beers. We got some wines. See the guns. Trust see the guns. Oh, I can't I do to... I can't do muscles unless I come all the way back like this. I don't know how people do the muscle and they just come up like this because mine doesn't come out. I got like Grandpa Paul muscles. Looking good. Your grandma, uh, Golden Girl. Shirt. I got my Golden Girl shirt on. His mother got me this, but then I cut the sleeves off because I'm a meathead. No, right. it's because I sweat too much, so the pits need to be aerated. Pits. All right, for Aunt Sue that's watching right now, I got me some. Uh, this is a non-alcoholic athletic brewing company. It's Upside Dawn. This is a I'm actual non-alcoholic craft beer. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. I'm like screwing this thing up. Would you like me to help you out? So it's athletic brewing. Stop. This is not a good showing for this thing. It's non-alcoholic craft beer, like you said. This is like... Turn down the volume if you see that. Yep. Athletic Brewing Company. So, Athletic Brewing Company, send us beers. If you Free can hear beer. me throughout through all this construction that's going on. <laughs> if you can hear me, send me some free beer. Athletic Brewing Company. Hashtag Athletic Brewing Company. Hashtag send me free beer. Hey, Ooh. so this is, it's not cheap. That's the problem. However, he can't drink real beer, so that's what we're left with. It's $12.99 a six pack, which comes out to how much I figured this out, and I forget. 
13, sure. six into 13. It's like 250 a beer, which is yeah. not desirable. However, it is craft beer and it's cheaper than going out and getting a beer. So let's listen to it as I open it. Uh, oh, you need a frosty mug. Mm. Oh, go get the frosty mug. I'll pour my wine. I'll pass. No, get it so we can see the oh, color. No, no, no. All right, all right. You want to go over uh, details? Of, of the, uh, yeah. I'll wait on mine. Okay, so this is the Upside Dawn. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll pour right. my I'll pour my wine while we're waiting. So see this glass. It says Mrs. H or Ms. H. I got this as a gift when we were getting married, an engagement gift by the girls at Spirit Halloween. I used to work my previous life in Halloween costume sales and licensing. And so Spirit Halloween, the big pop-up shops every every Halloween, I used to work with those gals, and they got me this cute little cup, Mrs. H. Whoa, what do you got there? He's got his bed's buckle. <laughs> it's a beer belt, in case you want to walk around and just... And I got mine on. His has a mustache. This is from our friend Nadia. So what you do, I'm not drinking beer tonight. It's bev buckle. It pops open, and then you can right. put the beer in it and be hands free. While you're working on your cars or something manly. Yeah. So, so it's Bev Buckle, BevBuckle.com. It's not the stir the belt is actually sturdy. The holder, not the sturdiest. But the idea is cool. Does the job, John. Thanks, Nads. You're the best for the belt buckles. Before you go into all that, let me just introduce my wine so I can start drinking it. Hey, Nick Green, check it in. Green. So we have the Sarai from Trader Joe's. This is the one that's $7.99. It's nice, light. I was going to say refreshing. I want to say exactly refreshing. It's a red wine. But it's more like a Pinot Noir style. It's an Italian wine from Veneto. And uh, this is the one they charged me for the extra bottle that I got my $7.99 back. Oh, see last week's episode. Yeah. Refer to last week's episode. I'll put a card up at the top right about now. I'm getting good with my card. That was like a gymnastics. Stick the landing. You're very good. All right, so let me just take a sip of this because you're going to go on, to. Hold on. Well, no, you got to do your review. Sure. Mm. That's good. It's light. Like I said, it's like a Pinot Noir. It's really good. Seven ninety nine. So it's a good wine to bring to a party because nobody knows how much it is, and that's a good price. Not too expensive. Not too cheap. In case mm. they ever looked and, and saw how much it was. All right, let's go into this non-alcoholic yeah. craft beer for Hansi, Athletic Brewing. So I'm looking it up from, uh, what is this, beeradvocate.com. It's got 3.38 out of five. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. It's, it's a, a golden uh, ale. It's a golden ale. It's got 0.4% alcohol. Getting crunk. Crushing it. Crunk. Um, let's see here. A bunch of reviews. Let's see what this guy writes. Well, no, I want to hear your review. Oh, it was very. I don't want to hear this guy's good. review. It was, it was uh, it actually tastes like a real beer for once. See, I had these. So my auntie, my aunt Dot, yeah, told me about these. They're from Connecticut. Athletic Brewing is from Connecticut, and they were all like athletes. And it's supposed to have like electrolytes in it and whatnot. She got me some when I was back in Rhode Island, but I wasn't paying to bring them on my suitcase. So I tried them at home, and I thought they were pretty damn good. So I bought him some. But again, twelve ninety nine a six pack, about two fifty a beer. So not good, but not terrible. You know, yeah. you got to do what you got to do. Better than those honey tasting beers. Hey, let me take a sip of that. There we go. So yeah, somebody so on uh, beeradvocate.com says excellent beer, especially for a non alcoholic. I drink alcoholic beers, but I'm making this a part of my rotation. Yeah. Weekday beer. It is. Nice. It's really yeah. good. So again, it's from Connecticut. Cool. 50 calories in this. So that's good. Because well, a normal it. beer, about a, um, say oh, a Bud Light, guns. has 110 <sighs> calories. A Coors Light, 102. Um, a regular glass of wine has a probably about, well, it depends how big your pour is. But let's say 100 for a six ounce pour, about 140 calories. <clears throat> so 50 calories, that's good. Because all those German non-alcoholic beers, they had the same amount as regular beer. Like 100 and something calories. Probably mm. all that honey. Yeah. 
Interesting. Oh, we got a we got we need a come guest on. that wants to come up. So I would give that. What would you rate that out of ten? Oh, out of ten. Let me have one more sip. Hmm. Louis crying. He wants to be on TV. Yeah, that's good. I'd go with a. I'd go with a eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'd say that was damn good too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good job. Good job. Oh, Athletic bro. Getting stuck on my bed buckle. Hold on, Louis. I'm having difficulties here. Yeah, so that that being well, really good. So we have one more downstairs. Um, that's an IPA that we'll review another week. And he's not a big IPA guy. I got to get this belt off. He's not a big IPA guy, but I tried it and it was a nice one. I, my palate's a little more refined than his. Totally. But uh, it was a it was a nice beer. So Athletic Brewing, you can order them online. Athleticbrewing.com. Oh. Sorry, I didn't get rid of that belt. What are you doing? Chores back there? I know. So oh. athleticbrewing.com. And then this oh. is the Sarai. You can check out my Trader Joe's haul where I brought this one and that Moto blend that I did last week. So I'll put a card up at the top to uh, my Trader Joe's haul where I got a lot of healthy items. Yeah. But then I got him some non alcoholic beer and these two wines. What's up, Sarah G? Sarah G. What up? All right. So what else is going on? Got some powerlifting well, videos going on. Oh, the, what's going on this week is I tweak my neck, which is feeling great today. I tweak my neck, benching at 24-hour fitness. Why? Because the racks are terrible. One is on my face and one is too high. So I was using the one that's too high because the other one I can't press anything from. And I was like, I should get a spot, but let me just try. Well, when I was just trying, something popped in my neck. That was the end of the story. And uh, so yesterday, though, I stretched. I got those capsicum patches from Rite Aid. Um, you can watch my powerlifting video. That'll be posted next Monday. But I got those capsicum patches from Rite Aid. I went for a massage. I went to the chiropractor, and I'm feeling pretty darn good today. So let's hope I don't jack it up anymore. It'll be good. But uh, he's saying my powerlifting video. So er weekly, I'm coming out with a powerlifting video, and I'll put last week's a card up at the top, and there's links in the description below. But... This video took me, if I thought the first weeks took me all day, this took me a day and a half to make this darn video. So if you haven't watched it, Better like I like said, it. I'll put that card up at the top. Please go watch it just for the sheer fact of how long it takes me to do them. I need to get the word out so all the people. I did get a stranger that commented on it, so that's good. But uh, watch it, please. Just, just do me a favor. Watch it because it takes me so long to make these videos. And invite other strangers to watch it. Yes. Tell all your friends. Strangers, too. Just Hashtag walk tell your friends. So, yeah, my powerlifting is I've been thinking it's going bad and I'm struggling mentally because I feel like I should be further along right now because I'm, like, freaking out. The time is passing. And, uh, good Lord. And, uh, then I realized I counted wrong and I actually did way more than I thought I did. And that's why I felt so heavy, probably, because I wasn't counting right at 530 in the morning. So uh, anyways, watch the powerlifting video. I'll put the cards up at the top. Links in the description below. Watch it. I don't Keep know about it. you, but for me, it doesn't it's matter forever. how much weight's on that bar. It's going up. It's going up, bro. What a meathead. <laughs> What's up, Big D? What how you doing? Yo. What's up, Mom? How's it going? Um, Where's my mother? Uh, your, your aunt's on. She'll tell her all about it. No, she better watch the replay. Everybody watch the replay. <laughs> so if anybody missed it, Hansi is drinking non-alcoholic beer from Athletic Brewing. I'm drinking Sarai from Trader Joe's. Sarai. And the Athletic Brewing was really, really good. It's the most craft beer tasting, real beer tasting one that we've had so far. So yeah, very good. It goes well with my beer belt. So anyways, my grandmother, as many of you might know or might not know, passed away uh, this past week. So I had went home to Rhode Island last week or two weeks ago to say goodbye. And I, and I got there and I got to say goodbye to her. I'm not going to make this an emotional thing right now. I got to say goodbye to her and we're actually leaving on a trip this weekend. And that's right up her alley. Her, her funeral is actually Friday, but I already went home to say goodbye. That was my plan. But um, we're leaving on a trip and that's right up her alley. My grandparents used to travel all over the place. They used to go to China, Alaska. I knew. 
China, Alaska, all over the place. Everywhere I've been, she's like, oh, I went there. Hey, Jack, Jack. He's playing with a bone. He scrapes it against the towel. I went there, whatever. So, um, you know, growing up, I always thought my grandparents were poor because they picked the mold off the bread. My grandparents had six kids. They picked the mold off the bread. They used like one square of toilet paper. So I'm like, oh my God, they're so poor. Like everything was like, you know, famine. No. Why do they do that? They save their money so they could travel the world. So that's what I do. Like today I was in Target and I'm buying detergent. And what am I doing? I'm like, all right, looking at this big bottle, looking at the small bottle, taking the price, dividing it by how many ounces it is to see how much it is per ounce and see what's the better deal. That's a gallon thing. There you go. So we are leaving for Salt Lake City. Oh, hold on. Like, I, want, I want a little. What? I got a little grandma story too. Oh, go ahead. So, uh, what, we had been dating for like two years, maybe, maybe two years, maybe a year. I don't even know. Maybe two years. And, uh, you know, we go back to Rhode Island and, and Grandma B, she's got a nice cottage down there at the, uh, at the beach. So the whole fam goes down there. We show up. She's like, oh, oh, let me come here. Let me show you something. I got something for you. Let me show you. <laughs> and her sister, Bree's sister's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's go see it. And she brings us in the house. We go in the living room. She's like, look, I put a picture of you two up on my wall. I look at it. It's not me. It's her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Jamie, your sister, is dying laughing on the knew. couch. My sister knew And all time. we can do is just die laugh. So that's a good that's a good little... Uh, yeah, my grandma Barbara was so excited memory. to show him the picture of the two of us on the wall, and it wasn't him. And Jamie knew the entire time. It was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, come in, come in, yeah. come in. Come see this picture. It's great. It was a very nice picture, though. It just wasn't him. <laughs> So that'll be one for, uh, uh, for us to keep in mind for a while. Yeah. Um, so so we're, anyway, you see, we're talking about Park City, Utah. Yeah, we're heading to, I actually said Salt Lake City by accident, but we are, we're we'll heading to so, uh, Park City, Utah tomorrow to go skiing. Dina and Sima are watching the boys for us. I'm going to attempt to ski. That's how. I, that's what I do every time. Uh, I, it's, it's, it's not really relaxing for him. He... <laughs> He is really hilarious on the mountain. That's what I'm there for. For comedic. someone that's so athletic and so, yep, there's the three. There's the three. Got Tatum. It. For someone that's so athletic, he really can't ski. He makes yeah. me look like a professional. Well, like I was saying today at he, the gym. He sweats like, the whole time. Hi. Hi. I, I've got these, like, because I'm tall, so I got like, these six foot skis. How are you supposed to do anything? Like walking around town with six foot shoes on. It's like clomping around. And now I'm just trying to ski down a mountain with these six foot shoes on. It's insane. Can't do it. Not going to do it. Won't do it. Oh, someone, Nick asked, oh, this thing, it's the bark collar. So it vibrates if he, if he barks. Hmm. So he's not crying the whole time that we're on this show. But he still knows a way around it to whine anyways. Yep. You're doing great, Lou. You're the star of the show. Yeah, Sarah said my grandma's drinking Bloody Marys. Yep. Yes, yes. She's doing a happy hour with us. So, yeah, we're going to Park City. We're going to ski all weekend with our friends, Jill, Timmy, and their, and their son, Wilder. And uh, I'm going to have fun. We're going to have a great time. Nancy's going to sweat his little buns off. If you guys, oh, I should post this. The Banff, when we went on Black Diamonds by accident and Hansi was just falling and falling and falling over all these moguls just falling. Well, and first of all, if you are a, if puffing. you're a ski resort and there's like an avalanche going down the side of your mountain and you still have signs saying, Oh, blue, <laughs> these are blues going, just follow this trail. And then you run into like where an avalanche just hit the whole side of the mountain. And then the only way you can go down are through like, Black moguls? This is a live sale. We don't know if an avalanche hit the mountain. There were signs that said avalanche warning, but this one. It sure looked like it. He's just being Gloria. No, I was not being Gloria. There, there was a damn avalanche that went down there. <laughs> moguls are not my forte. <laughs> Neither is skiing. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. I have video of this. So if yeah. anybody's with me and they want to see this video. Oh, well, why don't you throw up on one of those cards? I can't because I don't have a video. The card you have card. to card you have to put you have to have a video on YouTube already. Yeah. <laughs> you can see me dancing on the mountain. If you go to my Instagram, I made a highlight, which is on my profile page of all my 
dance moves on the mountain. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, I saw that on Instagram today. You posted a lot. Oh, nice. Oh, Nick said they just got for the dogs a thing called Whistle, and it tracks the exercise and resting time and calories of the dogs. It's like a Fitbit for dogs, basically. Don't need it. I can already guess it for Louie. Zero calories burned. <laughs> got it. Louie's, no, he plays at night. He's a nighttime player. He, Jack and I are the same. Okay, we wake up in the morning calories. and we're like, let's seize the day. Let's get after it. And Louie in the morning is like him. I was like, oh. I hate the sixes. That's what he used to say. I hate the sixes. That's right. 6 a.m. times. I'm an early bird. But you got to do what you got to do. Apparently you know? I can't count in the morning. That's why I keep screwing up all my weights, but I'm an early bird. Just jack those weights, bro. Um, What else you got? That's it. That's it? I think that's really it. Oh, no. You got the I just looked down here. So. Just a little tidbit, a little tip, a little yeah, pro tip. a little tip. Pro tip. All right, so as we all know, I let everything out. My sneezes, my life. I talk about everything. I talk, I just talk. A lot of, some people might think it's complaining or I'm stressed out. I just like to express things and talk about things. I like to just share my, my stories and you never know what answers you're gonna get. This one keeps everything in. Doesn't do sneeze out talk. loud. He doesn't sneeze. He never shows that he's stressed out. Never anything. I don't sneeze because I don't feel like spitting all over people. And the, kid, the kids got high blood pressure. Me, Miss Let It All Out, low, cool as a cucumber. So anyways, we went to dinner last weekend, and this $60 dinner is going to save me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Why? Because we're in the car. They ended up taking us home because we Ubered there, and... I'm talking about our electric bill and how expensive it is. And I'm like so frustrated. It was like 355 bucks in San Diego. That is ridiculous, ridiculous. So we're talking about it and I'm saying how ridiculous it is. And they say, oh, you have an electric vehicle? You should be on the different rate plan. And I'm like, what? Oh, you should get a rebate. What? These electric vehicle rebates through SDG&E, which is our San Diego Gas and Electric Company. Probably through whatever electric company you use out there there is. There's a different rate plan for people with electric vehicles. So all that money, why our bill's raising when we're charging the car at night, overnight, even though it's super off peak, our bill is astronomical. It went up like 200 bucks from just the regular old bill in the, in the wintertime. So me getting everything out is going to sit for the $60 dinner that we went to is going to save me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So not only, that, not only that, but the pizza is delicious. If you're watching this, thank you. Thank you very much. So Thanks, guys. it's good to express things and talk about things. It's not complaining. It's good to tell stuff that's going on in your life because you never know who's going to come up with an answer. And I know in this day and age, everybody's afraid to say something and everybody doesn't want all these people's opinions on social media. But like, if you just talk about things with normal friends and maybe preface, I, I don't need your judgment, but st regular stuff, you never know what answer you're going to get. Right? Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, I want tonight. You go, girl. Well, because it's going to save me $100. I can't wait till March 25th. And when this new plan kicks in, I got to wait that long. And see if we get a rebate. Mm. Check out my bill in June. Maybe we'll go somewhere else too. It's going to be probably $500 or less. We could probably go to like Carlsbad. <laughs> so anyways, people, talk out your problems. Let, Let it, it out, out, people. Let it out. You got hate in your heart. Let it out. That's mm. what's it called. Delicious. What, you like that? Yeah, it's very good. I, I might up it to an 8.75. See? Thanks, Aunt Dot, for letting us know. Yeah, that's good. It'll I want good. you to try the other one. So they, they have three kinds. They have the blonde, they have the IPA, and they have a stout. I bought the blonde and the IPA. We'll try the stout at another time. I think he'll like it, but I feel like it's one of those things you can only drink just a little bit of it. Hmm. So anyways, I think that's it for this week. What do I got? I got nothing. That's, my life is boring. And oh. I'm gonna say, I don't know what this song is on in the background, so I'm just going to sing... Bottoms up, bottoms up, let me fill your cup. Got a couple bottles, but a couple ain't enough. Bottoms up, bottoms up. No, I'm singing my own song. Put that off. Come on. I'm singing my own song. And I'm going to get a copyright hit. 
Bottoms up, bottoms up. Okay. 6 so p.m. That. Pacific Standard Time next week, Wednesdays, live. I can't believe he just ruined my out, outro song. Bottoms up. Bottoms I think, up. I think if anything, I saved up. everybody. <laughs> but you're still singing. Bottoms up. Okay. That's the end of our bottoms up. 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific happy hour Standard the Time, Wednesdays, live. YouTube, subscribe, comment. Let's go. We'll see you later, and I'm sure we'll be posting weird stuff from, <laughs> from Park City. YouTube. Be on my Instagram at we here to see my ski dance moves. All right, guys. I'm Have a great night. Adios. 6 Pacific Standard Time. I wonder if I just hold my finger <laughs> how long she would be doing that for. Exercise. <laughs> okay. Peace. Bye. Peace in the bomb, Chris.